Ooh, what's up guys, Jared and here today got a Pokemon Showdown Live in the UU tier and uh, this is you know, a bit a bit good, it's fun, I like it, UU fun, I like the stuff, It's I used to hate it, I used to just just, just absolutely hate UU because of how stall it is, but I really liked playing Hyper Offense in UU, it's one of the few tiers that I like to do that in, like the higher the tier I go the more offensive I get, uh, but in, NU is perfect for like balance bulky offense and RU is kind of the same thing but you can run offense quite successfully uh, but you I feel like I shine the most the most <laughs> fuck it out <laughs> I shine the most when um playing offense so we've got a, we've got a team here today just made it only played one game which actually was quite close I could have lost it if I didn't choke um, but I did choke but luckily um I was a uh, my Ryko, my Ryko was faster than my opponent's Crobat for whatever reason so that was nice but anyway um <laughs> Recording time. Um, we have Mega Deontay. This thing will probably leave you soon, but it's here for now, so I'm going to abuse it. Uh, I got this set from my boy Petro. It's just um, it's just a rock polish set. It's got enough attack investment to, uh, to two at Code Blissey with a, ro uh, with a Diamond Storm, even without rock, so that's nice. Uh, next up, we have Jirachi, just because they pair up well together, and it acts as my Stealth Fragger and T-Wave support. For my Crocodile, which is a choice banded, Animate Nature, Max Attack Crocodile, sporting that 117 attack set. It's just going to destroy things with the knockoff, so that's nice. And next up we have Crobat, because I needed something to take ground type attacks and also fighting type moves, so this Pokemon just fit the bill so perfectly. Also, something to stop Scarf Manchow just wrecking my face. And then we have Scarf Manchow, conveniently enough, just because I liked it so much destroying my team, I figured why not destroy other people's teams with it. And then finally we have Raikou, which is Calm Mind. Um, I had no idea what to make this Raikou set, so I just did this. It's, it's a mess. Honestly, I, I, I don't like it. Uh, Volt Switch, I, I wanted it because this has got kind of a Volt Tony feel to it, so I made sure I had that. And Calm Mind can be used for late game, and just to get up a boost when necessary. So um, let's get into a game and see how we do. I'm hoping we do quite well. Um, I'm on my main ult and that should have a decent amount of points on this UU ladder. Um, I'll check once we get to the game so you can see it as well. So I'm not entirely sure how good it is but I'm pretty sure it's above 1400 so that's decent enough for me. But I will pause until her game has been gotten. Okay guys we got in here against Cook a lot. Uh, Cookie lot. Hoping he has a Rotom Heat. Once the teams supply themselves to me so I can make as a boozer joke, but um, I'm hoping I also don't have to do that as well <laughs> as a as a cautionary thing. Thank God! But uh, we go in here and uh, I'll check my rank. Rank. Uh, and you, you, 40, yeah, we're not, we're not too bad. Yeah, it's nice. I like that stuff. So we go in here against this guy. This bulky Arcanine could be a problem, but I'm actually seeing uh, Crookedon need a lot of work to his team once um, Lucario goes and obviously Flygon. So. Um, I have no reason not to lead off with my Mian Shot here. It's a good matchup against most of his team. I can U turn off anything, especially if he wants to lead off with that Jirachi. Not Jirachi, Espeon. Little doll face. <laughs> I have Healing Wish on my Jirachi as well. But one thing I, I have noticed does, does, doesn't the answer just not look HD? Like the sprite in comparison to the rest of the Pokemon? I'm not sure. I just can't look at it properly. It just doesn't seem right to me. Uh, but whatever. Um, he ends up leading off with this Ampharos. Now, I don't expect High Jump Kick to Oko, so I'm going to switch out. My Jirachi is especially defensive, so that should be a decent enough answer to this Ampharos for the time being. And also, I have my Raikou. As he ends up having Protect on his Ampharos, which is very interesting, but as long as I can U turn, I don't really care um, why he does. Um, I could actually make a switch out into my Crocodile, but. Um, I don't want to risk him going for the Dragon Pulse. I could be a legend and be like, Yo, Jirachi, and then Yo, Crocodile. I could be like that. I could be that if he wants to Volt Switch out on my Jirachi for whatever reason. Um, or actually make a switch out into his Espeon. So I think this is actually a really good play for me to go into my Jirachi. Uh, it's a multi-beneficial play. Because um, either I take the Dragon Pulse because he's scared of the uh, the ground type coming in. And then, uh, then I double out into my ground type and then just hit something up on his team with a lot of damage. So, really happy about this. I'm a choice banded Crocodile as well, so I'm going to do a lot of damage to his team if this goes my way. Which, looking like it's going to go my way. I like this stuff. I, w I, wanna, I, w I wish I had u turn at this point, but I am just going to make the direct switch out into my Crocodile. I feel like it's my best play. Because either he is going into Espeon or he's staying in and going for the Volt Switch with his Ampharos. I don't really see him going into anything else except for maybe Arcanine, but then again, I still have my Intimidate on my. Well, 
if he switches directly out the intimidate will come into play no it won't because I outspeed this um, let's see what he does nice nice it's fantastic position um, let's see not sure what kind of player he is so I'm actually just gonna go straight for the earthquake and I have my crowbar if he wants to bring in the fly gun as well so not too bothered yeah I'm gonna go straight for the earthquake uh, don't crook with me friend <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pun master as he does just go straight into fire which I did not want to see happen but oh well I'm gonna go out into my crow by now safest play out of all my plays um, really ah, oh, kind of regretting not going for either the pursuit or the knock off there to be honest uh, but I figured Earthquake with my safety hits 5 out of the 6 of his team for a lot of damage. It's just this fly gun, and I figured, uh, a bit obvious, but I, I, I'm not sure of the scope of this player yet, which is my main problem. As uh, he does just go straight for the U-turn, which I'm okay with. Um, what he can do here is go out into his Ampharos again. Uh, but we'll see. I can U-turn out on that. I'm not all too bad, but I'm pretty sure my Crocodile should be able to take an attack coming from a Mega Ampharos. Um, I'm going to get the Cow Cow just in case. Uh, I assume he's going out into Ampharos, so. Mega Ampharos. You all that attacker. Crook. I can take a Dragon Pulse, one. <laughs> he actually goes out into his Arcane, which is very, very scary. Um. Let's see. I don't. He is bulky though. So what would he go for? Would he go straight? Would he go for the Will O Wisp? I wish my Deancey was Mega Revolt. I do have Healing Wish though. Yeah, I'm actually going to U turn out into my Deancey. I think that's a safe-ish play because I'll have my bulk still intact and then. Because I have a Mega Evolved yet, I do lose significant amounts of bulk when I Mega Evolve. Um, so I should be able to take any one attack coming from this Arcanine. And, oh, that's even better. I get a free switch into it. Which is humongous because once I Mega Evolve, I should be able to outspeed all of his team. Um, and actually be in a really good position to win the game later on, of course. I think Mega Deontay just beats his team because Moonblast, Moonblast, Earth Power, Earth Power, Moonblast, Earth Power, Rock. Diamond Storm, kind of, and then like a uh, power rock polished storm. <laughs> All the moves that I can do! Um, but for now, the time being, I am just going to Diamond Storm. And if he wants to try and burn me, which obviously he won't be able to because of my magic bounce ability, I'm looking good. Um, no question marks allowed on my names, of course. So, um, sorry, Dante. Um But, um, looking good. So yeah, he does bring in this Rosa Raid, and this is, should take so much damage, yeah. I don't want him to be Scarfed. <laughs> is he Scarfed? Does that... I could calc this. Mega Deance. Um, I have like 74, is it? Yeah, I hit... No, I have 377, didn't I? Yeah, 377. Uh, but I am a Rash Nature. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Uh, Diamond Storm to a Rose Roserade. If he was offensive, I would have killed him. Yeah, that's definitely looking like a defensive variant. So what I can do is just go for the Earth Power here, outspeed, knock him out. So that's good. I have to be careful of Lucario's Bullet Punch if he has it. Definitely. But yeah, I am able to knock out the Roserade with the Earth Power. I just went with the 100% accurate move. Uh, but like I said, yeah, Bullet Punch coming from a Lucario, very, very dangerous. So I have to make. I am at plus one defense at the moment, so that's beneficial. Let's see what he goes out into here. Uh, maybe Flygon if he's Choice Scarfed, or, the, or maybe Espeon. Who knows? Ends up going into that Flygon, which does indicate that it's Choice Scarfed. He might be pressured to go for the Earthquake here because I am a Mega Deante, so. I'm going to make the safe switch out into my Crowbat once again. Um, yeah, that should be good. But once, if this Flygon ever comes in and locks itself into like a Dragon Claw or an Outrage, I can go for the Rock Polish, probably set up for game, maybe. So, um, very much have to keep that in mind. How much is that Ampharos at? 80%, so I can't go for the Rock uh, Dumbstorm. But yeah, he is forced to go 
for that attack. Now, do I roost or do I keep up offensive pressure? I think I keep up my offensive momentum by going for the U-turn. Yeah. Oh, kicking stuff on the floor. And also my Mian Shell. <laughs> I have a very strong team matchup against this man, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I have a lot of things that I can do a lot of damage to his team very quickly. And because he's forced to switch out, I get a free switch into my... Um, I'm going to Crook here, but I think Deontay is my best play now that I've Mega Evolved. Cool, cool, cool beans. Uh, so this uh, Vault turns actually coming in quite handy, especially with the Flygon versus Deontay things going on here. Um, so what I can do is just Moon Blast and uh, knock out this Ampharos, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure what I'd want to switch out into. Um, he's actually probably in range of Diamond Storm at this point because of the U-turn damage, but I don't want to risk it missing because Moonblast is obviously 100% accurate and stuff like that. And I Okay, I could have rock polished then. Oh my god, it was in the back of my head. It was in my mind. But, uh, oh well. Uh, what would he go into? I could go for Diamond Storm now. Oh, he left. That sucks. Um, the answer they just put too much pressure on this man, though. Um, you'll see it in a minute. Yeah, in a minute. There we go. So he's left. Um, I'm going to search for another one because I don't think he's coming back. Um, so um, I suppose I'll pause until I get a new game. So uh, BRB, friends. Okay, guys, we've got one here against Deathstroke. And it looks like a very, very powerful balance team, bulky team. Um, with Beedrill as an offensive mon and Chandelure. Chandelure actually does a lot of work to this team, depending on its set. And uh, my Crocodile is going to be stopped by that Verzion, which sucks so hard. But, um, looking at it, I'm definitely going to need to weaken this uh, Dawn fan. Uh, it's a big problem to my team. Um, so I'm actually going to lead off with my Crocodile, so I can go for the knockoff on it, expecting it to lead off. And if he wants to lead off with his Beedrill, I get the minus one with Intimidate. So, um, and I've won this game, got 10 points in my bag, and uh, yeah, so leading off with Crook, as he ends up leading off with that Beedrill, uh, which is pretty sweet for me, although he can protect, but then again, he doesn't have anything to um, take an earthquake, he has no nothing on the nothing on the flying thing, this has wings, but it does not fly, uh, it doesn't believe in using its wings for action, unfortunately, uh, but... <laughs> 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 Watch him forfeit. <laughs> Watch him just leave. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> he just died. <laughs> I'm a choice bandit. Adam and nature. Max attack. Crooked eye. What? What is that? Is he... Is he... Please don't be like offensive. Well, even if he's offensive, I don't speak naturally. What's he shocker? But I'm banded. And he's not going to be scarfed and poorly on. Not a chance. I ain't, I ain't about to have that. He might be focused, Ash. I would understand that, but I do not understand that play at all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Talk about no switching. I'm Crobat. Oh, my God. Crocodile's going to go in this game so hard. Loving it. Whew. That's my excitement for the day. <laughs> oh, God. I need to lie down. Too much 5 me. What a shame, <laughs> that beetle just got pop. Oh, that's beautiful. But yeah, I can bring my crow back, my crow rounders, get it? It's funny. I don't know, I can just u turn out. Expecting him to want to save this Verzion because he has like free switchings to this crow bat in the form of Empoleon, Darn Fan, and kind of Florges. So yeah, he does go out into his Darn Fan there. And um, I'm all about this Crocodile. Just coming in. How much? I wanna. I, wanna, I, I don't think it'll do much, but. Crocodile. You choice band. Don't fan. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's if it's offensive. I do think a lot of things. Um, 48%. I wouldn't risk that. Uh, Earthquake does a lot if he's offensive, of course. Doesn't do really as much. That's modest. I, could, I fucking quick clicked. But yeah, I'm just gonna knock off here, get rid of his item. Because um, I don't want this thing recovering naturally. Obviously, he has this potential wish support. Oh! <laughs> the hacks. I'm so, oh, I need. Oh, he got rid of my band. That sucks. But just in case he wants to save this Dunfaff for later, I am gonna pursue. 
That sucks that he knocks off my band. It also sucks for him that um, I got the crit. Uh, but yeah, I am able to knock out this uh, Don fan, which was the main threat to my team. And actually, Crocodile's going to do a lot of work now that I'm not choice locked. Because um, I can still Oko and Perlian. I can now. Yeah. But obviously, I would have preferred the band, because obviously, I only need to knock, my, knock myself, lock myself into the Earthquake to do a lot of work. Uh, but still. I'm actually going to make the switch out to Jirachi this time over over Crobat because I want to T-Wave something. I want to get my rocks for that Chandelure as well. And uh, just in case he did that. Is that HP rock? Maybe. Uh, but just going to set up my stealth rocks now. Um, I don't expect this thing to be able to do much to me. Obviously he is a special variant so um, I'm especially defensive Jirachi so I can get my rocks. I want to T-Wave expecting him to just switch out to Chandelure but um, I'd rather just get up my rocks. It can also pressure that Imperion to defog, meaning that I can bring Crookdal in for free on it. So, uh, best of both worlds there, kinda. Looking looking forward to the end of this game. <laughs> that beautiful <beetle> play. <laughs> the end of that. Oh, that was just ridiculous. But, yes, I'm able to get up my stealth rocks. Now, what do I do here? It's my question. Because I want to keep the strategy for that floor, just I might just sack Crowbat, to be honest. Because I get a free Mega Evolution off of my Deontay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sack Crowbat. Was that my best play? Yeah, I think that is my best play. As he fire blasts, actually doesn't do too much to me. At least I can see if he's choice scarfed here. I'm actually just gonna go straight for the brave, but I don't think he specs, definitely because I took that way too well. If he's not, if I outspeed him, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm so lucky. Um, I'm not going to say specs, I would probably say that he is, um, like, maybe leftovers or flame plate, but definitely twist scarf now. Um, I can sack this, I don't mind. Oh, I could just switch directly into the outside. The play's probably happened already. Because uh, I do have a solid defense, and he is in his scarf. <laughs> nope, it's already happened. <laughs> I just didn't want to risk him being specs. So I'm going to bring in my Deontay now. I might not have Mega Evolve yet. No, I want, I want my speed boost. So I'm just going to Diamond Storm here. Um, Obviously, I don't expect the Chandelure to stay in. Maybe he wants one more Stomper Glory. And uh, he'll switch out into either his Verzion or his Empoleon. I don't think he'll go into Florges. I don't think that's his best play. Um... Empoleon's probably his best display. He ends up sacking his Verizion, which I I kind of agree with. As I am able to knock out the Verizion with the Diamond Storm. Because, if you did not know, um, Verizion doesn't have the best physical defense stats. So that's definitely why it killed. Um, even though it was a resisted hit. Um, I do have, obviously have quite a lot of attack investment. As Deontay's actually looking in a pretty demanding position. And my team is looking in a very strong position as well. Um, unfortunately, Raikou... And uh, Mianxia, I haven't seen the light of day yet. Now, uh, in terms of plays, what can I do here? Um, I could actually... I'm actually going to go into my Raikou because Raikou has decent special defense stat. And I don't want to take a Scald or any unnecessary damage with this um, Deontay. Just in case I need a late game to take a hit from uh, Chandelure. So, I'm going to switch out into my Raikou. And I can actually set up a Calm Mind here, I think. Just so I can eat up this... Um, Scored a little bit better than I am already. Um, and also, if he wants to switch out into this floor, just like, take Moonblast a bit better. And I can kind of set up on it. Um, but we'll see. As uh, Yeah, he does go into his floor, just. Um I think I'm going to go for plus two before I start attacking this. Um, hopefully, he won't get the... Oh, he forfeited. So, I think he saw that as game. Uh, Raikou setting up there at the end was very, very good. I could run choice specs, Raikou, but... I think it worked out well in this situation, so that's always nice. Uh, so I think I'll look for one more game and then we'll call it day. Ooh, 15 points for that, nice. Um, so I will pause again until we get a game. Oh god. <laughs> okay guys, we've got one here against uh, Not So Epic M and his team looks disgusting. But also quite weak to ground once um, that Weezer goes. Quite weak to Crook, so... I like the looks of that. I'm expecting Darmanus and I need obviously Twist Scarf. So I'm actually going to lead off with my Crocodile because I can get the Intimidante on him and I'll go for the knockoff. Choice Bard in knockoff, you know? I don't expect him to stay in on my uh, Crook. 
you'll probably you turn out. So, um, I actually predicted that wrong, but still like the lead matchup. Although play rough is a possibility. Um, just gonna earthquake because he might be he might want to mega evolve and he might also expect me to be a stealth rock lead crocodile uh, because I led with it and yeah it's not awfully uncommon is it um, as unfortunately he does um, stay in um, I'm actually I want I actually want to pull a switch out here into my Raikou expecting his reason to come in. Is that too risky? I've uh, probably already happened, fuck it. <laughs> you know, I need to, with Showdown being so laggy recently, I need to learn to uh, think about my moves before clicking them, but it actually works out well in my favor because I can actually just Volt Switch here. I don't think you want to take any unnecessary damage with this Weezing, especially when you can't really do anything to Raikou. And he has two pretty good answers in the form of Gudra and Umbreon, who can come in. Um, so, he actually stays in, which. I don't agree with. I, and I do a lot to him, you know? Uh, what's he gonna do? He might sludge bomb? I'm actually gonna go out to my crocodile. Um, I don't think he'll will o wisp, I don't think it's worth it. And also, if he does want to will o wisp me in the long run, I might be able to get a healing wish off if I need to on my crocodile if it comes down to that late game. If it's like Empoleon and Umbreon versus the rest of my team, then I'd probably want crocodile around. Uh, but we'll see here. As he does will o wisp, unfortunately, I do not understand why he would want to take any unnecessary damage with this wheezing. Uh, but whatever, do as you please. Um, honestly, it makes no sense to me, but whatever. Um, I think my crook can still do a lot of work considering I am choice banded. Um, but you know. And I also think Raikou can do a lot of work because he does have no electric immunities. And also, once Weezing goes, because this Weezing is just the one thing stopping my Mian Chao just going in on his team. So he goes out into his Absol here. And um, can you just bring in my Crobat? I think. It should. I'm a bulky crowbat to a degree. If you have a look here, quite a lot of HP investment, so I should be able to take. I'm just looking through these. I should be able to take any attacks relatively well. Um, as he does actually go for the play rule, which I eat up even with the critical hit, and then I can just go for the U10. Hopefully, do a lot of damage to his Absol, or at least force him into his Weezing, which I don't think he'll go into. Probably his Empoleon, which I could still. Oh my god! What are you doing? That was the most useless protect! <laughs> Holy shit! People annoy me when they do that. Um, but whatever. <sighs> like, why would you want to take the damage anyway? Exactly! <laughs> uh, so now I can uh, bring in my Raikou. Uh, I am actually tempted to click. To click? <laughs> to click? Click a move. I want to click. Um, Thunderbolt this time because I'm expecting a pain split or him at least not to switch out and I want to do as much damage. I might be able to kill him with this. Um, seeing what I did 44% last time. Um, yeah. It's probably already happened. Or I could vault. Oh, damn it. Um, let's see. How much do I do? Not much. He's probably AV, but I can just vault switch out. I don't really care that he knows that I'm not choiced in anyway. Um, and also, if he double switches, I get the upper hand here. But I don't expect him to double switch. He might expect my Jirachi to come out. Or my Fairy, known as um, Deance. So, he might double out into his Absol or something. But, I'm just going to vault switch out. I'm going to go into my Jirachi. He's my best play. Because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage from my Deance. And I don't expect him to drag the pulse necessarily. Because of that. As he ends up Earthquaking. That's fine with me. Um, I wish I had you done in this situation. Um, but I'm actually tempted to make the switch out to my Crobat expecting his Absol to come in. With like magic bounce. So I'm going to switch out to my Crobat. As that actually works out in my favour. Um, because now I can use... Oh, please don't protect. For the love of God. I would not be a happy bunny. Uh, 
I really want to get my Mega Evolution off with my uh, with my Giance, because I think I can do a lot of work to his team. As he brings in this Empoleon, and this is just a free Mian Shell button. Like, I'm just going to click High Jump Kick and YOLO it, because I can probably 2 it here, the Weezing. Probably not. <laughs> um, I am Reckless Choice Scarf, though. Um, Oh, I do 27% if he's fully physically defensive, but let's just have a look how much a Raikou Volt Switch will do. Yeah, he's probably physically defensive. Um, we're going on a high jump kit just in case he wants to stay and predict my U-turn. Because I've been doing a lot of that. And if I don't cut this in Pokemon, it's just one more obstacle that my Deontay doesn't have to tackle. Um, so yeah. Nice. <laughs> Empoleon goes down. Sweet! Which puts me in a very advantageous position. Like I said, because my Deontay just gets a bit more wiggle room. And I can actually set up on the Umbreon if it ever chooses to come in. As you bring in Darmanitan, which is a bit of a problem. But I am scarfed. <laughs> um, so I outspeed this. Get out. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what he was thinking then. But, um... That threat goes down, and I'll just have to deal with this Weezing Gudra Umbreon core. Um, as he brings in that Weezing, I am just going to make a switch out into my Raikou. Easily my best play. And then I can Volt Switch out. So yeah. Um, <laughs> do not understand the Dark Man attack, but I hate it when people do that, when they just bring in their scarf like, Yeah, I can help speed it. <laughs> <laughs> when they obviously can't. I'm just going to Volt Switch here, play it safe, because I know for a fact now, because I've done the calc, that a Thunderbolt will not be killing this Weezing. Um, going to make a play out. And actually, if he wants to switch out to Gudra or Umbreon, I can switch out into my Deontay and get my Mega Evolution. But he ends up staying in. Which sucks. So, I think Deontay is still going to be my better play, because I have the lowest HP out of all my Pokemon. And if I'm expecting a Paint Spell, I'd rather have him get little to no HP back, as that works out pretty well. Um, going to get my Mega off and Diamond Storm this man. Um, if he wants to will o -Wisp me, I have my Magi Bounce, so... And I'm pretty sure I can live a Sludge Bomb from a non-invested Weezing. Um, sweet. Nice, don't poison me. Damn it! I want to keep this alive! <laughs> because... Um, obviously I have Healing Wish on my Jirachi, so do have no reason to attack my Deontay, who can just destroy the rest of his team. Um, so unnecessary risks are out of the question. I can be like, oh yeah, I can win easily without Deontay, because I, I have six Pokemon on the board. No, the answer is a win condition. I should do my best to conserve this being. Um, so Raikou is going to come in here as I start my timer, just because it beats the rest of his team, obviously. Um, as he ends up bringing in his Umbra, which actually might be the perfect opportunity for me to go out into my Jirachi, but obviously he can also get the Wish off onto his Weezing. Huh. How much does the Weezing get? 24%, but if I go into my Mian Shao, he also has to protect. Um, But if I paralyze this Louisiana, it might not be a problem. Go to Crobat. Because I've got I've given him this turn to wish. If I go into Jirachi, I definitely won't be able to kill the Weezing. Um uh, Crocodile will not be able to kill him. Mian Shao won't, and he can always protect, like I said. Um I think I'm going to go out into my Jirachi. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. I think it makes the most sense to me. Yeah, I want I want my Deontay back before. <laughs> I want it to just come in like, yo, how's it going? How much? Mm. I get Deontay. Is that Mega? Yeah, it is. Um... <laughs> Moonblast will do 42. Oh, I should have gone for the Moonblast, really. But oh well. As he did wish up. Um, do I Thunder Wave this and then go for the Healing Wish? 
me. I think I'm going to Thunderwave first. To get the Weezing paralyzed, just so I can write it down. He ends up staying in with his armory on which... I don't agree with that play. So I'm just going to Healing Wish now. Hopefully not get paralyzed. If I get paralyzed, it would suck so hard. But I don't know why he wouldn't want to save his Weezing, because it beat the rest of my team kind of outside of like. My foul wave is way too much. <laughs> Just saying. Please don't get paralyzed, Strachi. Do me proud. This will be the ultimate sh like fucking gun to the foot. Shot, shot to the foot. <laughs> I have shot myself in the foot, friends. And now I will lose, especially if I get paralyzed here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely fucking kidding me? Oh my god, that's so bad. What is foul play? Wish protect heal down most likely. Don't power play. Go for the wish to get the wheezing up. That's my only way to win here. If I don't get paralyzed, then he goes for the wish. Oh. I do have this. So I'm gonna do it. Gonna hide jump kick. I wish I had drain punch at this point. Gonna click it. Because yep. Yeah. And I should be able to kill the And he yeah, has no switch into this, so of course he is dead. Of course. Why does he make such a bad play? He had no reason to stay in with Umbreon there. When Weezing was literally a free switch. God, I hate that. If I was Taunt Crobat, I'd probably be able to win, but because I'm not. Oh! We sat on. Why did he make that play? Another play which I do not understand, which could completely cost him the game. But, whatever. I'm keeping this man show alive as long as I can. I think Ab Mega Absol is the main concern, number one now. But I do have Crobat. As I think he might be pressured to go in for the Sucker Punch here just to finish off my man show. But I have no reason not to keep it. I don't know why he did. I don't, I, I'm not understanding this man's plays. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand. Um, Sport Crobat, Brave Bird, 25%. Brave Bird. Oh. Yeah, just die wheezing. Thank God, this wheezing was so annoying. <laughs> this game has annoyed me quite a lot, but I can I think I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Ah, uh, I don't need the answer anymore. Although it would be nice to get off one attack with it, because it hasn't really done much this session. Uh, but I think I don't know. Crooked has done a lot of work. I know that this burnt little bugger doing some work. That's always what I like to see. Um, I think I could still lose this game. Just if a lot of luck doesn't go my way. Or if I play badly. I think the one Pokemon I don't particularly need will be this Raikou. Outside of taking a Sucker Punch from Absol. But I am just going to use turn out here. Not sure what to do though. Because I could definitely use the one attack of all these Pokemon. I'm actually tempted to just go out into my Crocodile. That's semi death I think that makes the most sense, because if I do end up living an attack, I can go for the Earthquake to do a lot of damage, so... I think Crocodile's my best play. Um, because it is bad, it is technically the weakest Pokemon on my team, going into the final stages of this battle, and Deante can always get off one hit here, one Moonblast to seal it up. Um, just depending on what the Scooter does. He ends up missing the Draco Meteor, which... doesn't alter the game 
it just makes me able to get up a bit more damage with this Krugodar, which I'm very grateful for. I could also use this Krugodar for Intimidate. Definitely a possibility. As he ends up going into Absol, who takes a metric fuckton from that attack. Um, so, do I keep this? I think I can keep this. I'm going to go into my Crobat. I have no reason to sack. <laughs> Preserve the 5-0. <laughs> No, I, I, I think that in order to win, I need to lose at least one Pokemon. Maybe not the way because of that Draco miss. Mine just made it easier to look, make me look better. So <laughs> that's always good. Um, but hopefully he makes a move so I can wrap this up. This is actually turning out to be quite the long last battle. But that's mainly because um, Weezing, Empoleon, Gudra, Umbreon proven to be a very difficult core for me to break. And also the fact that he made some very weird plays, I think, at the end. Some that weren't beneficial to him. Um, keeping his Weezing would have easily been his best play, but he stayed in with Umbreon, so I lost my chance to healing with, with my apparent wing condition in the form of Deontay. But then he sat his Umbreon, which made the game a lot easier for me. Uh, I think him losing Umbreon was the clinching point of this thing. Uh, but anyway, I think I will pause until he makes a move. He might not make a move at this point because he's lost. Um, so yeah, I'll be RB. Oh, never mind. I lied. He made a move. And he went for the play rough. So um, I can just U10 out here. Uh, please don't be that. <laughs> please don't be that guy. To make the most obvious of like bad plays and going for the protect. He might just suck a punch here. Last ditch effort of damage with his Absol. Nope, he doesn't even suck a punch. So... I'm just going to go into my Crocodile for one long, one last attack with my boy. With my choice bonded. Adam and Nature. Max attack Crocodile. <laughs> I love saying that. My favourite catchphrase, I think. <laughs> I hope there's a fan favourite. Uh, but yeah, it's a ridiculously long battle. For something that should be finished. <sighs> but anyway, guys, how you been? Um, I've done like three lives in the past three or four days, and none of them have been good. They're both in are you? No, are you? Any? And they were terrible, so I had to get rid of them. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I haven't played in a while. And I did, I like, I had things to say in those videos, like discrepancies, but I can't be asked to repeat them now that I've said them two times. <laughs> oh, don't die, Crudel, no. But um, I suppose I can uh, get some justice here. Finish the game off. As I intended to with my Deontay. My win condition. I needed this Deontay life for the Scooter. Although I have four Pokemon that can easily knock it out at this point because my Raikou does have Hidden Power Ice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to Moonblast. I'm pretty sure it's a, a Salt Vest, so it's not going to reveal the last stitch protect. So, um. Sick. <laughs> uh, pretty decent game, although. Uh, it just plays at the end. I could have easily lost because of my. My shooting myself in the foot with that Thunderwave play there, but I wanted to hit the the wheezing on the switch because I think that would have been very beneficial to me. But he didn't switch out. But yeah, that's game. GG. I get some points. What's my win loss? I always like my win loss at this point. Twenty nine and three, loving that. <laughs> I bet I'm not too far off top one hundred. I'm not even sure how high the UU ladder goes. Was I fourteen eighty five? Uh, John Origin, sorry, I'm 151. So yeah, not too bad with the 1487 slot. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. Check out the team; it will be in the description below. I've been John Origins, and I'm out. So peace.